Zalando is one of the uh, e-commerce titans in Europe. So just to give you um, the big picture, can you give us a macro figure for your company? Yes. Uh, well, Zalando is a um, leading uh, fashion company in Europe. In 2020, we reached 8 million uh, euros in turnaround, 200 million orders. Um, can you hear me well? So we are in 23 countries. Are you listed? Uh, yes, in Germany. We belong to the um, DAX 40 index. Uh, we were listed recently. We are growing well. We have great ambitions for the future. Well, uh, those working in e-commerce uh, have an advantage. I wouldn't say it's simple. Um, it is rather complex. But um, I do not think there's um, a focus of reduction. So uh, I think you work in a sector with high uh, perspective for growth. The business model of Zalando works with brands and consumer buy them uh, online. It was interesting to have you for us because you launched um, a service connector retail, which I think is in line with the one offered by Farfetch, um, which allows you to have a hybrid relationships with B2B because you also work uh, with the distribution can you give us an overview of how it works? Yes, indeed. Uh, Connective Retail is a service we launched uh, recently, initially, uh, two or three weeks ago. Uh, it is a crucial service for us because it, we give the opportunity to brick and mortar stores to connect on Zalando and sell directly and have access to over 45 million uh, users. Our vision is to be the starting point for fashion. So the strategy of our platform is crucial to achieve this vision. So the several players in the world of fashion uh, begin from the customer. We want to learn what the customer wants to buy. One should have an endless assortment to fulfill the needs of the consumer. So with the strategy of the platform, so connecting brands, connecting shops directly on our platform, we can fulfill and meet the needs of our customers. To give you some figures, if we look at Italy, uh, since the beginning of 2021, we give the consumers the possibility of when they want to buy something they can find to leave um, us our email. So if they're looking for a size or a given color, um, leave us your email and we send an email to you. Uh, we have million of opportunities uh, of something we haven't sold. If had we had uh, the stores on board, we might have been able to sell something. What do you do with these emails? We send an email uh, to the people interested. So you need to have them in stock in Zalando. It will be connected uh, with retail in the future. It is very simple. So uh, the store can connect and after a few days, they can decide what to sell. Some of them want to sell everything. Some of them want to sell just products with a higher price point. Um, some others want to sell a category only. They choose the assortment, they choose the price, and then the product becomes available on Zalando. If it is a Zalando product, you can choose the picture and go there immediately if it is not uh, available yet. The shopper takes the picture and puts it online. Oh, we Currently, the service is available in 13 countries, Italy included, over um, 6,000 uh, stores. If we look at this year so far, thanks to Connected Retail, so the assortment in store, we offer five brands, five, uh, pardon, 5,000 brands more. So 10 million products more that we didn't have. So there's a huge room for growth. And if we look at the future, because we believe very much in the solution, which allows us to offer more local, more relevant, maybe more niche assortment. Yes, indeed. So when 
the customer is on Zalando, they can decide to look first at stores sold by um, a store so they can see what are the brands, uh, pardon the stores who are selling. And we have a retailers that tell us we have sold more. I had more football for so more people entered my store. There is um, the story of a brand, Lola. Um, it is a jewelry brand with a store in Hamburg. Um, they started using connected store. Uh, they sold more and they had a peak of footfall because people from Hamburg started liking uh, their product. And when they discovered that the store was not buy, they uh, went to the store to buy the product. So I think it is a win-win for situation uh, for Zalando, uh, partners, connected retails and consumers alike. So do you expect that for this brand, pardon, this model to have uh, a certain amount of turnover or do you expect that half of the offer will come from stores? We do not have a specific number in mind, but our mission for 2023 is for the market share coming from store or connected store or connected brand will account for 40% of our turnover. So it is a market share in which you do not need to mobilize stock. Yes, we have a just a uh, usual uh, online model. And then your goal is to have 40% um, through Connect Retail or through the brand. They manage everything through your platform. Yes, so the store and the brand can, can choose the price, the assortment. They have a, a total control. Would you still manage the CRM? Yes, uh, it, we would manage it in Zalando and through connected retail with new features we will launch. We will have available click and collect and collect. So I can buy on Zalando, then I go in store to get the parcel. And then stores will have their own page inside Zalando. Now brands can have um, the page on Zalando. This will uh, happen for retailers as well. They can share their assortment, content information on the store. And users of Zalando might follow a store because it has a good assortment, a brand I, li a brand I like, and they can create a direct relationship. So you s now sell cosmetics, jewelry, and fashion. Yes, fashion accessory, uh, all kind of accessories. Uh, beauty, um, we do have in Italy beauty, and s little uh, of um, electric accessories. Do you have any um, services in mind, uh, for, mind for Italy? For us, Italy is crucial. It's one of the biggest market for fashion. After Germany, we cannot give you a ranking of um, our countries, but Italy is growing steadily, and um, we can tell you that. And we invested a lot last um, year we opened a big logistics center in Cornarole Rocca. We launched connected retail in spring. We launched secondhand. Um, I think it was mentioned uh, earlier. For us, secondhand is fundamental. We see the dynamics uh, of this uh, market exploding. It is estimated that in the next five to ten years, the second-hand market will be um, bigger than the first-hand market. We see that there is a demand, there is big interest. So we went from 20,000 to 200,000 products. And um, it was mentioned that many customers would like to sell second-hand products. And it is a complicated um, operation. Uh, for us, the principle is very simple. We want to apply the same concept of first hand market to the second hand market. So in the future, uh, they could sell second hand products on Zalando. So this is another category for you. So you have brands, you have store and cons consumers. And they can sell to Zalando. If uh, we are interested, we send them a box. So they send us Yes, you, we get the product directly. We send a box. They send us the picture. We check if everything is correct. 
uh, we send a credit for Zalando or or the amount is sold to a charity. And the last service we recently launched 10 years ago is Zalando Plus, so a service we offer in exchange of a fee so um, users can receive bigger, um, can receive more um, quickly their products, they can receive products in the same day on in bigger cities. We give access to capsule collections or limited editions before um, it goes live on the rest of the website. So we create more intimate relationships with users. We offer better customer service. So you are uh, really representing all different behaviors of online consumers. So secondhand um, clubs and relationships with retails, uh, that's, ac that's excellent. My last question, you have 8 million euros turnover and you say 200 million orders. So you have really quite a great range of data. What are the trends you foresee in the future? Well, uh, many of the trends were mentioned today. Uh, the first thing would be digitalization. Uh, we believe that the future of the retail is connected. Secondly, um, sustainability. This is crucial to us. The market of fashion uh, needs to pay a lot of attention to sustainability. We believe in a future when we need to balance um, attention for the environment as well as um, other aspects. We want to be carbon neutral. We are carbon neutral from 2019. We want to help consumers to make more sustainable choices. Uh, we mentioned Gen Z, uh, which want to access the sustainable products. We've seen that in 2020, we went from 20% of active customers buying more sustainable products to 50%. By the end of 2020, the market research we carried out, how did they define the best, uh, the most sustainable product? Um, it is very visible in our cat catalog. Uh, you see the green tag, which is sustainable. It is a rating you do. So who says? what is more sustainable. Some brands have sustainability cr uh, criteria. If this is met, we um, give the green tag and um, they can also filter also products um, in um, organic cotton or with a less resource of um, raw materials. These filters are highly um, demanded. Sometimes uh, users can feel confused. Uh, we want to educate and simplify, so we offer filters, uh, we provide information, and it is a play in the long term. So the more we educate, we, the more we explain, the more informed the customer will be. They say they want to do something, but they then behave differently. Uh, we released a report in spring on consumers in Europe. And uh, we've seen that uh, I would like percentage are very high. The I do percentages are much lower. We have the responsibilities as a fashion company uh, to educate consumers on what they can do and help them um, reaching the goals. Thank you very much. It was very interesting. Um, I wish you all the best in your work. Thank you very much.